We have to define ourselves to be a people. We found that our teachings uh, from our elders were spot on. You must have a strong language, you must have a strong culture, and you must have land that you kind of claim as your own. We've been an oil and gas producing tribe since before the 1920s. When TransCanada came, they showed us that they're like-minded. They're interested in moving oil, they're interested in moving oil in a safe way, and they're interested in the native cultures and supporting that. So TransCanada has a long history of engaging with Indigenous communities. And when I talk about engagement, I don't just talk about the kind of engagement that our regulator requires us to do to get permits. It's actually the ongoing relationship with the community that we have to establish and nurture because our assets are in communities for up to 60 years. TransCanada really um, they begin to go over and above and they and they start to set the bar on how on how consultation could look. They give a small company feel, you know, by the faces that, and the familiarity of, of uh, who you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And we take care of the land. We take care of remediation when construction is done. And more importantly, from a land and an environment perspective, that we put mitigations in place where we can't avoid a potential impact to the land. We have an understanding that should TransCanada come across any of our um, old village sites or any of our remains of our people, uh, TransCanada will um, contact our historical preservation office and our archaeologists. They actually are uh, walking the talk, so, um, so to speak. They're very proactive in the community. Like I said, they're very active with any community, whether they're Aboriginal or, or not, or non-Aboriginal. People and contracting component of the strategy requires our contractors who build pipeline, the general contractors, to have Indigenous participation plans to make sure people get put to work, which allows Indigenous businesses, band-owned companies and the like, to participate in our construction. My name is Brian Young and my company is uh, Young Forestry Services. I'm from Nipissing First Nation. We've been working with TransCanada for over six years now. It's all about jobs and uh, keep everybody working. Project participation is the newest element that TransCanada has introduced and it is a recognition that we will, where appropriate, consider providing project benefits to nations as we move through project delivery. They help support us through capacity, um, you know, they, they have great initiatives, they're very approachable. I work as an engagement lead in the Indigenous Relations Department. I guess you could say it's like a liaison between the project team and the communities we work with. There are a lot of opportunities to work um, from labor positions to full-time employment. I started with TransCanada under a community agreement uh, between Denethat First Nation and TransCanada Pipelines. And through hard work and dedication and knowing what I want, I came on full time with TransCanada. I think that's a success story um, and those opportunities are there. Communities set the priority. They decide which programs they're going to ask us to participate in and if it fits within our commercial and our project framework or if it's within the community investment general principles, then we're always really excited to participate. And that can be anything from a reading program to programs aimed at getting more people from the community um, trained up to be able to work on our infrastructure projects or our operations. TransCanada came and showed us they're the kind of people we want to do business with. 